island so long, so I come looking for you. Perhaps you need help. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Hang it in your ear, baby. Hang it in your ear. Last year, we reviewed Raiders of Atlantis, which was a massive disappointment. Can't move, we're mobilized. And someone on Twitter suggested we try Beyond Atlantis instead. What's the pitch? First impressions, this is shaping up as classic exploitation. Shot in the Philippines in the 1970s. <laughs> Piranhas eating a man. <laughs> Sid Haig gets a massage. There, feast your eyes on this. This guy. Senor Quintero, please. And of course. But hang on. She's still wearing a bikini. The film was produced by and co-starred Dark Corner's regular John Ashley, who wanted to make a fantasy treasure of Sierra Madre. Beautiful. About three men who plunder an Atlantean colony for its pearls and then fall out. Well, nothing's gonna stop me. Not now. They decided to push the boat out, comparatively, by casting Patrick Wayne. I'll be there when you're ready to go. Two problems. Firstly, casting two dark-haired men, both with glorious 70s perms, then putting them in identical scuba gear... ..may cause confusion. Secondly, Wayne was insistent this be a family film, which meant it needed a PG rating. Kid-friendly, but with something for the dads. But changing it to PG seems to have mainly involved crossing out the word topless in the script. You are mistaken. While the dialogue... I'm gonna buy a couple of buildings. You know, get my broads off the corner. ...remains the same, as does the plot. When will you mate? Part of which revolves around the need for Atlantean princess and only blonde in the village Cyrene to mate with one of the outsiders to stop the population from becoming any more inbred than it already is. It is your destiny to mate with an outsider. And they are quite serious about this. You will mate! You will mate! It may be PG, but is it a family film? And this causes more issues. Cyrene has her sights set on Wayne, but he's already fallen for scientist Kathy. Are you making a connection? Which doesn't stop Cyrene from attempting some underwater seduction. I don't know how she expects this to work in a wetsuit, but suddenly that's the least of their problems. Well, good grief, you wanted her to mate. Give them some privacy. What happened next? All I can remember is diving and... ...now being here, I... Did Cyrene get hers and leave? Did she give up trying to get the wetsuit off? Did being netted kill the mood? Mm, this couple's got problems. You'd think we'd find out, but this remains a mystery. I'm just making a lot of guesses. I can only assume they left this up in the air so the kids in the audience could think one thing and the adults something else. I'm afraid I've given you the wrong impression. Whichever way you cut it, this is three films and, weirdly, they're each represented by one of the three male leads. What the hell are you talking about? Patrick Wayne is the hero of a Sunday afternoon fantasy adventure. Incest? Mm-hmm. Mostly. John Ashley is intensely channeling Humphrey Bogart. Come on, do it. And Sid Haig is Sid Haig, representing exploitation. You go pop for papa. This schizophrenic approach continues to the end. Relations sour between the Atlanteans and their greedy guests. <laughs> Temples blown up. <laughs> Cyrene killed. <laughs> Cyrene killed. 
civilization doomed. I destroyed my life too. A somber conclusion, underscored by the inevitable loss of the pearls. Ow! All that death for nothing. It's not there. We come back with a demolition crew. Some dynamite. And we'll need some witches, maybe, and a tugboat. <laughs> we killed so many of them. Thanks for watching. For more of our Philippine exploitation reviews, click here. Um, as the title suggests, this isn't really about Atlantis, it's about a colony of Atlantean expats, so I'm still looking for my Atlantis movie. Put your suggestions in the comments below.